now, here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 futurecast. Hey, over here in the Weather Center with Michelle Muscatello. The last six weeks, you've really been busy between snowstorms and this <laughs> and that and what else. Now we've got some rain, and it, uh, it, it promises to be pretty nasty at, at, at points and in some places. Yeah, that's right. I mean, later on today, tonight, we're going to be rocking and rolling around here. Not just Ooh. rain, but wind, too. Right now, we're you know, still dealing with just some lighter rain that's been off and on through the morning hours. We see some of it along the coastline right now through South County and up into uh, Newport. Little Compton, New Bedford, seeing some rain. We've got rain drizzle and mist over the Cape, at least portions of the Cape. But the heaviest of the rainfall is still offshore, and we're going to be tracking it moving towards our area as we head now into the second half of the day. And again, it's towards the end of the evening commute into, say, 9, 10 o'clock this evening, where I expect the worst of this storm to be impacting our area. There is a river flood warning for the Patuxent River. We've got minor flooding ongoing, and it's expected to continue through the daytime today and probably through the nighttime tonight. This afternoon, we're also, for the evening commute, going to be walk, watching for some localized street flooding. It's your typically prone spots that in the heavy downpours will see some problems uh, once again for today. Also winds, I mean, talk about a variety of weather issues. We've got winds with this storm too. High wind advisory for uh, Bristol County, Massachusetts. High wind warning for the Cape, the islands up in Boston. These are the strongest winds, 60 miles an hour over the Cape. Uh, 45 to 55 miles per hour over portions of uh, coastal Massachusetts. And I wouldn't be surprised if some of those wind advisories were extended into Rhode Island too. It's going to be a pretty windy evening. Coastal flood watch. This is the new watch that has just been issued for tomorrow morning's high tide. We're expecting uh, the winds to turn to the southeast and for high tide at 525 in the morning to coincide with some of those stronger winds. So two to three foot storm surge, that could lead to minor, even moderate flooding all the way up Narragansett Bay. City cam out there right now, just gray, dreary, 42 degrees. Northeast winds right now at eight miles per hour. 41, New Bedford, 42, Newport, 43 degrees in westerly, upper 30s in our northern suburbs. Now, uh, Bob and Fall River says cloudy and damp. Brad Cumberland. North northeast wind at 14 miles per hour. And Kelly in Westport, 42, she says just sprinkles falling right now. What I see is some heavier uh, rain off the coastline to our southeast. Also very heavy rain through coastal Maine and off uh, the north shore of Boston. Some of this is going to try to wrap back around, too. As far as snow goes, notice how far west it is of us. That's where the, uh, the wintry weather with this storm is well away from our area, at least during the daytime today. But low pressure is going to rapidly intensify as it comes up and then moves over Long Island in Connecticut later on tonight. On that path, again, the heaviest of the snowfall is over in this area from uh, portions of New York down into northeastern Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Even New York City is getting a decent snowfall out of this storm. But for us, we're just talking about more soaking rain. Watch what happens towards the end of the evening commute. Yellows and oranges. This is the heavy rain and strong winds that I'm talking about moving through. Overnight tonight, the winds stay very busy, but notice how the rain tapers off. Just rain and even some snow showers as we approach tomorrow morning. And we'll see rain and snow showers possible throughout the daytime on Friday. So this afternoon, rain will turn heavy at times very late in the afternoon and evening. At around 42 in Charlestown, 44 Coventry, northern suburbs, low to mid 40s here. Rain possibly some flooding at times. And we'll be in the mid-40s for Plymouth. High winds will uh, really start to take over in the later afternoon. So maybe a tough evening commute with rain and wind. Overnight tonight, temperatures will only fall a few degrees into the upper 30s, but enough cold air coming in that we may see some rain and snow showers, and they'll continue. It's not a washout on Friday, but lighter rain and snow showers possible with temperatures in the upper 30s. And still looking at possible sprinkles, flurries, or light rain mm. and snow showers for Saturday and Sunday. You'll be able to squeak out some outdoor time, though, in both of those days. I okay. will? I think you will be able to. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle.